little fox. Puss in Boots, Episode One: A Mill, a Donkey, and a Cat. It was a chilly morning. Some people gathered in a graveyard. The town miller had died. The miller's three sons stood by the grave. Their names were Francis, Batista, and Carabas. I'll miss father, Francis said. Batista nodded. I will too. Carabas wiped away a tear. <laughs> I'm glad he lived a nice long life. Later, the brothers went to the mill. Father was quite poor, Batista said. He only owned this mill and a donkey. I'm taking the mill, Francis said. You? Batista cried. I'm the oldest. Francis said, "I'll take over father's business, and I'll make money grinding flour." <laughs> well, I'm taking the donkey. Batista said, "I can use it to carry goods to the market." <laughs> Let's go into business together," Francis said. "I'll grind flour, and you take it to the market." Batista smiled. "Perfect." "What about me?" Carabas asked quietly. Batista shrugged. "Father didn't own anything else." "I don't get anything?" Carabas asked. "That's not fair." Francis shrugged. You're the youngest. Just then, a cat pounced on a mouse. Oh, Batista said. I forgot about Father's cat, Puss. Francis grinned. Carabas, you can have Puss. Francis and Batista laughed. <laughs> Carabas sighed. Puss in Boots, Episode Two. Poor Carabas. Carabas was very poor. His roof had holes. His clothes had holes. Even his shoes had holes. Each morning, Carabas worked in his garden. Hello, Carabas. Batista walked by with his donkey. Carabas waved to his brother. Carabas checked his tomatoes. Ah, he said. Bugs were eating one tomato. Another was rotten. Suddenly, an apple rolled down from the road. Carabas picked it up. The apple was red and shiny. He licked his lips.、Mm. Then Carabas spotted a man with an apple cart. He ran after the cart. You dropped an apple, Carabas said. The man thanked him. You're very honest. Later, Carabas went into town. He bought a small loaf of bread. 
Suddenly, he heard music. Carabas peeked inside a cafe. A man was playing a guitar. Carabas closed his eyes. Beautiful music, he thought. Nearby, some people were talking. Did you hear the news? A man asked. An ogre came down from the hills. The others gasped. <gasps> Carabas gulped. Where's the ogre now? The man shrugged. Nobody knows, he said. Ogres are terrible, a woman said. I'm locking my door tonight. Carabas hurried home. He was going to lock his door, too. Puss in Boots, Episode 3, A Clever Cat. At home, Carabas locked his door. He fed Puss bits of bread. Ah, oh, Puss, he said. I wish I had more food for you. Carabas ate his own dinner. It was a small bowl of soup. He dipped some bread in it. Soon, Puss went to sleep. A chilly wind blew under the door. Carabas put a blanket over the cat. Later, Carabas counted his money. Ugh. That night, he tossed and turned in bed. Soon I will need more money, he thought. What will I do? The next morning, Carabas worked in the garden. Puss was sleeping nearby. A mouse ran past. Suddenly, the cat's paw shot out. He caught the mouse. Puss licked his lips. Carabas blinked in surprise. Puss wasn't asleep, he thought. Puss tricked that mouse. He's a clever cat. That afternoon, Carabas spotted Puss again. What is that cat doing now? He thought. The cat was at the garden shed. With his back feet, he hung from the doorway. Just then, a mouse ran by. Smack! Puss grabbed it! Carabas laughed softly. <laughs> oh, that cat is amazing, he said. He shook his head. I wish Puss could catch food for me, too. Puss in Boots, Episode 4 Another surprise from Puss! Carabas was in town, buying flour and salt. The man waited as Carabas counted out coins. A basket of dried fish sat on the table. Carabas saw it and thought of Puss. How much for the dried fish? He asked. The man told him the price. That's too much money, 
Karabas thought. Oh well. He paid for the flour and salt and left. Karabas was walking home. Suddenly, he stopped. Puss is a great cat, Karabas thought. I want to do something nice for him. Karabas ran back to the store. He bought a dried fish. Karabas had a long walk home. One of his shoes ripped. But Karabas just smiled. He couldn't wait to give Puss the treat. Later, Puss ate his dried fish. The cat purred happily. I'm glad you like it, Karabas said. After dinner, Karabas counted his coins again. Each day, the pile grew smaller. What will I do? He said. How will I eat? Puss jumped into his master's lap. Karabas sighed. <sighs> You're lucky, Puss. You don't have problems. That's not true, master, Puss said suddenly. Your problems are my problems. Karabas gasped. <gasps> you, you talked. Puss in Boots, Episode 5, Boots for Puss. A talking cat? Karabas said. That's amazing! Puss waved a paw. Talking is easy. But how can you talk? Karabas asked. It doesn't matter, Puss said. I have a plan to help you. Karabas stared at the cat. Puss is a very unusual cat, he thought. Perhaps he really can help me. First, I need a bag and some boots, Puss said. But plain boots are no good. My boots must be fancy. Karabas looked at the coins on the table. I don't have much money. Karabas said. I can't buy nice boots. Puss smiled. My feet are small. The boots won't cost much. The next day, they went to the shoemaker. I need a pair of boots, Karabas said. The shoemaker looked at Karabas's feet. Then he told Karabas the price. Karabas gulped. Puss stepped forward. Sir, the boots are for me, he said. <gasps> the shoemaker was shocked. A talking cat? Amazing! Puss shrugged. It's not a big deal. Puss held up a foot. Look, my feet are quite small. The shoemaker rubbed his chin. I can make you a pair for a few coins. Excellent, Puss said. But the boots must be fancy. The shoemaker smiled proudly. They'll be the fanciest boots in the kingdom. Puss 
Puss in Boots, Episode 6, Puss Has a Plan. Puss had his new fancy boots. He gazed in a mirror. I look fabulous, he said. Those boots are nice. Carabas said. But why do you need them? Puss smiled. Master, I must look my best. That is how a cat gets respect. Puss picked up a bag. I will be back later, he said. Where are you going? Carabas asked. I have a plan, remember? Puss said. Puss went outside. Carabas scratched his head. Puss is special, he thought. But he's also very strange. Outside, Puss got a carrot from the garden. He dropped it into the bag. Then he headed down the road. Puss came to a meadow and stopped. This spot is perfect, he said. He put the bag on the ground. Then he hid behind a bush and waited. Soon, a rabbit came along. It sniffed the bag. Puss grinned. Yes, Mr. Rabbit, he thought. First, smell that carrot. Next, climb into the bag. The rabbit stuck its nose in the bag. It crawled in farther. Puss pounced. Got you. Puss quickly tied up the bag. Master might like this rabbit for dinner, he said. But I have other plans. <laughs> Little Fox.